Hi everyone! First of all, I want to thank everyone who, all my subbies who have subscribed to my channel. Um, I really appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get into the project share I have for you today. So in my paper, um, my Facebook group, um, Pocket Full of Friends, we are hosting a um, tea party tag flip. And I am going to show you what I created. So this is just an extra. It's not um, a part of the actual tag flip. But I did create this really pretty card. And um, I'm using the collection from Garden Party. So this is my little teacup. And that goes in this little envelope I made. <clears throat> and I wanted to show you. Okay, let's see. So this is my tag flip. So it needed to include uh, two trim samples. So I have this beautiful yellow and this kind of sagey or mossy green go I think pretty well with garden party and then I put this um this is just a Dollar Tree sticker kind of one of those um vintage type ones but I thought it worked really well with that and then um and the other requirement is you needed to make two of these sun hats and um I think G Kier made these. Um, that's the video that we used. And so um, I created the little dangle ones. So you, I used fabric and um, cardboard and um, attached them. And then I add little dangles up here. And I have a couple little teacups. And I think they turned out pretty cute. I have two teacups and again I'm using the garden party collection and we also needed to create um, two bows so I used this um, I actually cut this larger bow out with my Cricut and then I stitched um, all around it I added a little eyelet right here and um, dangled this little teapot and put this little fabric flower up here. Um, this other one, um, I just cut out an extra kind of bow layer to layer on top. And I thought this beautiful mustard fabric worked really well with the collection as well because it has some mustard greens in it as well. And then this cute little black bow to go with this black and white paper. And then add little trim right here and this adorable little teacup charm. And so those were the tags that we needed. And then one was supposed to be um, Crafter's Choice. So I created this really cute Chaos Craft. It's the, um, no, I can't remember what they're called. Um, the little macaroon cookies um, in the little case and I put in here the sugar the sugar bowl and the little teacup and here's a little table and chair and a little bee and then I decided that wouldn't be enough so I created a beautiful gold bag topper and I went a little crazy with the sequins I think maybe I shouldn't have put so much um, but that is what it is and then I also decided that I would put some sequin mix in one of these little bottles it was a bubble a little bubble bottle but I repurposed it and added some garden party just a little one inch circle up there and that worked and punched a little hole works perfectly and then I added this pink tassel that I had created I thought that looks really pretty as well and this is all going to go in 
this bag and I just love this bag topper that I made. I just got this um, shaker bag topper. It's a KS Craft die. And then um, I embellished with the teapot and the teacups and a couple of these flowers. These are the Hobby Lobby ones from the spring. Um, and I used this cute little bee ribbon that was from Dollar Tree. And um, this chipboard piece that I punched a hole to hang a teapot. And this was just a cute little um, die that somebody sent me, one of those Dollar Tree dies. I thought it worked perfect. And then I just kind of ruffled up this um, ribbon and then um, some of this paper to kind of just tie it all together. And I think it turned out gorgeous. And I wrapped it with some gold thread and I absolutely love it. So this is what I'm going to be sending my partner. And I hope you like this, you know, please give me a like, it helps my channel. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I can't wait to talk to you again next time. Thanks, bye.